All right, so here I am at one of my favorite spots, looking out over this uh, huge hill here, looking out over the Ohio Valley. And I uh, apologize in advance if there's any strange camera angles or wind blowing or bugs flying or bears or animals, whatever, flying by. I'm out here in the nature just enjoying the day, getting eaten by mosquitoes, but loving it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some questions I've been getting about Jing. Mainly, is Jing finite or is it infinite? And then also, what are the best ways to replenish Jing, if it's even possible? So these two questions are very intimately related, so it's very exciting for me to talk about this right now because it's something I've spent a lot of time researching, but more importantly, a lot of time living and breathing and really putting a lot of time into embodying, being really digging into my own healing process, my own health journey, my own rejuvenation journey and really pulling out these nuggets of not only information but wisdom and experience things that I personally and tangibly and viscerally somatically felt in my own body not just something that I read in a book and I'm repeating to you right now so is Jing finite more or less it is because just we're kind of born with a certain amount we're just like we're kind of dealt the hand of cards and then it's kind of our choice how we're gonna play it because our, you know, we have our inherited essence, our genetic essence, our hereditary that's coming from our parents, which would be you know, our prenatal jing. But then we also have our postnatal jing, which is we start to really accumulate through you know, our food and, of course, taking herbs and these things like that. So it's not to say that once you burn your jing, it's gone forever and you're stuck. Now, sometimes we can get into a situation in a deep enough hole where it may not ever be possible to get fully out of that and fully back to where we were before. But it is possible to rebuild Jing. It is possible to get your energy back. It is possible to recharge that battery. So one of the best ways to do it, one of the more important ways is to, of course, plug up your leaks, change your lifestyle, change your eating habits, change your sleeping habits, change your sexual habits, change your work habits, your emotional habits, whatever it is that's depleting your energy, you gotta start there first. Because if you have a bucket of water in, with holes in it and then it's leaking, if you just keep dumping in more water, you're just kind of wasting your efforts in a way. So you got to plug out the leaks first. Second, you can take tonic herbs, the Jing tonic herbs like Hoshubu, like Goji, like Cordyceps, like Reishi, which go in and recharge the battery. They go in and rewire these systems to let go of the stress and let go of the strain and actually allow us to relax to open up new energy, to allow new energy to come in, to allow us to recharge, rejuvenate, and get on to the next level. So it is possible to rebuild Jing. It is hard, it takes conscious effort, it takes intention, and it takes a little bit of effort and time invested. It's not something that we're just gonna take Hushu Wu for two days and then wake up and be recharged and never need it again. Now, many times people take the herbs and for the first time they have an experience, they feel it tangibly. But sometimes it takes, you know, a week or two, depending on the person's, uh, you know, uh, entrainment or their feedback with their nervous system, how in tune they are with the nervous system, etc. So the best ways to rebuild your Jing are, number one, plugging up your leaks, number two, eating a good diet, and of course, taking the tonic herbs daily on a regular basis, the Jing tonics, and if you're new to it and you haven't, you know, you're in a deficit, you need to do more, you need to be more aggressive, more serious, more disciplined, more dedicated to whatever it is that you're trying to do. This is the third is, of course, things like Qigong and Tai Chi and even yoga can help to rebuild this energy. Now, it's difficult and it takes, you know, specific intention and a lot of time and effort to, uh, you know, invest to learn how to do it, but it is possible, it is worth it. And there are exercises that one can do to strengthen the kidney Qi and also strengthen the kidney Jing. So again, Jing is somewhat of a finite energy, however you can rebuild it, and I told you how to do that. So if you have any questions or comments, actually one more thing, the top Jing herbs that I've had the best uh, results with as far as replenishment, my first two were Hushu Wu and Cordyceps and Goji, took those, oh and Reishi as well, took those four every day for years and just slept better, felt better, and just was regrowing energy from the inside out. Deer antler is a great one as well, however it's a lot more potent, a lot more expensive, so not always ideal for everyday long-term consumption. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And again, I apologize if there's any weird camera angles.
But here we are looking out over this uh, beautiful lookout here. So I'll talk to you soon.